Hello, welcome back to the original art auction recap. This is the Heritage February 2017. Uh, I have queued up 20 plus uh, listing that I want to highlight and I put them in order of the lowest price to the highest price. Um, so let's get going. Uh, this auction is in many auction. There's always a lot of Bernie Wrightson this is in for $35.85. You can have this Bernie Wrightson sailing spaceship painting, original art. Very nice. Affordable. That's the key word here. Affordable. You know, personally, I'm a bigger fan of his black and white um, drawings or painting or sketches, but. I would not say that this is not uh, affordable for a Bernie Wrightson piece, a finished piece. Next up, how about this one? From the iconic page of the issue, House of Secret 92, page three. Yowza, under $6,000. I'm, I'm sure this is one of the cheaper page of that issue no doubt but for under six thousand dollar you can have this piece it does not have a picture of of course swamp thing if there was a picture of swamp thing in a page as in other pages of this book it would have go for a lot more multiple time more right the king kirby look at this for 152 page nine with Finn's Coletta, 6,572. A great action page, nonetheless. Let's take a closer look. You know, normally Vince Coletta inking uh, leave a lot to be desired, but I must say that this is one of his better inking job. Very little very little to complain here right as far as uh, his line his the thickness of the line Whew, this is a beautiful Walt Simonson piece you know Walt Simonson uh, original art are often rare very rare you're lucky to see one piece or maybe two at each auction and here you have a great piece for just under 7,500. Look at this. Perfect. Beautiful. Look at that. You know, it's easy to recognize Walt Simonson lines. 1985. Beautiful. How about this? 8365, huh? 8365. Swamp Thing 98 cover painting. Dare I say that this is cheap? Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous horror painting. Look at this. My goodness. Beautiful. Like I said, I think it went for cheap. I would have guessed that the price would have been a lot higher, north of $10,000, but it went for 8,365. George Perez. Here is another piece that I thought went for cheap. You know, George Perez art is just beautiful. Unbelievable amount of details. Here you have a double page spread. Look at this. Double page. Beautiful, incredible amount of detail gorgeous okay gorgeous and under eleven thousand, a bargain in my opinion then you have this beautiful new adam piece from green lantern 85 look at this beautiful inking oh my goodness you got a page with both green lantern and green arrow beautiful beautiful page now as far as ten thousand dollars i'm not sure if that's a bargain or not 
about just a little bit more, 11,000. You have this Barry Windsor Smith and South Bashima, Conan, 14, page 11. Look at this classic Barry Smith before his transformation. It's not often that you see a page from his early days at Conan. So there you go. Classic early Barry Smith for 11,000. Big fan of Mike McNola. Here you have a beautiful, beautiful cover art. Look at that. Look at that Hellboy, huh? And the cow, my goodness, beautiful details, beautiful lines. Love it, absolutely love it for 11352. Once again, I think that's affordable. Bernie Wrightson, creepy, issue 69, inside front cover illustration, just under $12,000. Let's take a closer look. Got to, right? Look at this. Wowza. It's never, never tiring to look at a drawing by Bernie Wrightson. Beautiful lines. How about Bernie Wrightson and Mike Kaluta? Just under $12,000. You have the shadow issue three. Look at this. That's classic, classic Michael Kaluta with Bernie Wrightson inking. Look at that. Beautiful, the shadow. See, you look at the hand, you can see, you can't tell if that's Michael Luther or Bernie Wrightson, right? Some of the facial features you can see right there, the, the, the woman face, to me that look a lot like a Michael Luther face, but there's many, it's hard to distinguish who has more influence on who on this page, right? Beautiful page nonetheless. As you all know, I'm a big fan of Jeff Jones. Just under $14,000. Look at this beautiful painting. Look at this. Gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. <sighs> Breathtaking. Beautiful. Under $14,000. And then for over $14,000, how about this iconic John Bashima Submariner 2 splash page. Bowser. Gotta have a closer look, right? Look at this. Wow. Classic. Beautiful splash page. Dare I say, affordable. This is just beautiful, okay? Once again, Bernie Wrightson. I absolutely love this piece. This is my favorite piece as far as art of Bernie Wrightson in this auction because I love it when you have an unfinished piece that show you the lines, the lines, the pencil lines and then the inking. Just look at that. Just stare at that picture for a little bit. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The King and Magneto, 16,730. Jack Kirby, Werner Roth, X Men 17, splash page, 16,000. A very, I wouldn't say it's a great looking page, but it's the King and it's a splash page. No doubt. The price is reasonable, and this, I'm a huge, huge fan of Bill Sinkovich. Love, love, love this piece. Cover for Return of the Jedi, issue two. 20 grand. There I say, cheap. Look at this. Beautiful. But just 20 grand, just 20 grand. This piece surprised me as far as the price. I thought, you know, out of, you know, 
all the pieces I showed so far, I thought this one went on the high side, even though it's a great piece. Usually, Jean Colon piece tend to go for fairly cheap, but this is a great action page. So maybe it's right for the price. Okay, you got awesome action with Iron Man. Look at that. Classic Jean Colon tale of suspense. Great page. Great page, okay? So I don't know about 21,000. Perhaps that's the right price. Still, that one surprised me on the high side. Now this one, this one surprised me on the low side. Jim Storanko, Captain America, issue 113, unpublished cover. I love this piece. Under 24 grand. Look at this. Oh my goodness, what an awesome piece. Now the, the cover that was used with the iconic statue of Captain America of issue 113, that's a great cover too, but man, I don't know. What does people like? I'm torn, I can't decide which one I like more, but this is awesome and it's I think it went for cheap. 24 grand, that's cheap for a rare Storanko piece. Look at this Frank Miller Daredevil piece, huh? Issue 165, beautiful splash page. 47,800. Twice the Storanko unused piece. Look at that. Classic, classic Frank Miller, Klaus Jensen. Love it. I don't know what do people think. Would you pay this amount for this piece or half of that for the Storenko piece? I don't know. I want both. <laughs> oh, Bernie Wrightson cover issue six, 58555. I think this might be on the low end because it's probably not as great of a cover as the other covers of his short run on Swamp Thing. I don't know. It's a cool cover, but I would say that I like it the least out of the others. But still, 58555 is nothing to sneeze at, right? Steve Ditko. Spider-Man, need I say more? Need I say more? 71,700. Great action page with Spider-Man and one of my favorite, Craven. Look at that. Awesome. Just awesome. 71,700. Awesome. Last but not least, Saving the big for last, 155k. Frank Fazetta, gorgeous Thor flight oil painting. Look at this. This deserves a close up. Look at that. Without a doubt, I'm not surprised that this is the biggest piece of this auction. So it's beautiful, classic painting by Frazetta. Let's stop right here. And that is it, folks. That's my recap, my short recap for original art, Heritage, February 2017. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.